welcome to another one of my armor guides. This time it's me discussing various tri brooding setups. Now, why this is why is this important? Why am I doing this now? Well, Clan Cup is coming up, and for you to stand the best chance um, in terms of doing damage and staying alive and everything, tri brooding will give you uh, will allow you to do that. Um, it's pretty much going to be required for Clan Cup. Um, because I believe, unless if Jagex just disables protection prayers, it will just be a prey fest. And it will be your job to get around that. Um, so, this is how you'll do it. Uh, I've got three different setups here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss the advantages of each one. Uh, compare the bonuses of each one so you can actually see uh, the bonus differences. Um, and what, I, what setup I recommend for... Uh, a player's own personal stats, which one would be best. Um, so let's get started and let's talk about tri brooding with full Varax. So what are the important parts of this? Well, uh, the import what you'll need for tri brooding for all uh, of these gear setups is a dragon square shield. Why dragon square shield? Well, it only gives uh, a minus six magic attack penalty and it gives uh, pretty substantial melee defense uh, bonuses. It's the third highest in the game. So it's a great shield and it's the perfect Britting shield because it, it only gives a minus two range attack penalty and a minus six magic attack penalty. I use it for Castle Wars all the time. Uh, it's a great shield and it's very it's, it's a cheap shield. It's like 800-900k. Um, definitely recommend getting one uh, for Clan Cup um, you can use a DFS instead, uh, if you have one, obviously, but DFS gives a minus 10, uh, magic attack penalty and a minus 6 or a minus 8 range attack penalty. So you ha you'll have lower, um, magic and range attack stats with the DFS, but obviously what you lose in that you gain in defense and strength. Um, so let's talk about your switch for, your mage switch for Varak. So all you need for your mage switch for Varax is um, an Aram skirt. And that's because, that's why is that the only thing you need? Well, the Brassy only gives a minus six magic attack penalty. So uh, all you need to do to boost up your magic attack is just put on the skirt. Um, and you'll need a Sears ring. Sears ring is very important. This is an imbued one, so it gives a plus eight magic attack and defense. Uh, it's, it's what allows you to cast spells successfully on people wearing melee armor. Uh, you don't try and cast barrage or anything on people wearing carols. It's just not going to work. Uh, only on people with wearing melee armor and that are going to have lower magic defense. That's when you switch to the mage, to barrage. Uh, which is the whole point of tri anyways. So, what do you need for Varax for tri -briding? Aram skirt. Uh, it, you'll need infinity boots for all the setups, um, Sears ring, and yeah, a fire cape. If you don't have a fire cape, oh boy. <laughs> so, there are various mage switches you can do. Um, obviously, if you're using full Varax, uh, if someone's camping the fucking Carols in Melee Prey, you can switch to full Varax, that's one of your options. And when you get an opportunity to switch to mage, you can quickly just put on the skirt and mage, or, like before, you can have higher melee defense and still have pretty high magic attack bonus with this setup. So that's the downside of casting with the flail. You lose, I mean, look at the range defense difference here between the two setups. Uh, definitely much better to keep the shield on as much as you can. Um, I mean, to switch the range, it's very easy. Um, you can wear full Varax and still have a pretty high range attack bonus. Uh, or you can switch to Carols. Uh, really just depends on the situation. Um, which I won't go into full detail about. But it's something you learn after practicing tri uh, Whether to put on the full Carols, you know, higher melee defense, full Varax, whatever. Um, so, uh, what do I recommend this tri setup for? I recommend it... Uh, to people who actually have low range. Um, so uh, you're tri burning but you've only got like 80 something range or so, so it's not terribly intimidating. Uh, so when people put on the uh, 
melee player, uh, if you're having trouble hitting them through with range, you can just put on the full Varax. What's the downside of this? Obviously, you're not going to be able to tank mage attacks in full Varax. Um, so, uh, it also has another advantage uh, because of the fact that it takes up very little inventory space. Um, uh, which is important for tri-birding in 07 because there's no summoning. There's nothing that can hold your shit, your food. So inventory space, saving it, is a huge deal in 07. And this is a great setup to do exactly that. Alright, so let's move on to my next tri-birding setup. The full Darox tri-birding setup. Let's move everything else out of the way here. And let's just focus on Darox. Alright, so have your full Darox. Um, what's the, uh, well, let's talk about advantages later. Uh, let's talk about the gear first. Now, the thing about Darox is the plate in the legs, the plate gives a minus 30 magic attack bonus, and the legs give a minus 21 magic attack bonus. So, you can't wear just one piece of Darox. I mean, a 22 magic attack bonus is just not high enough, to be honest. Um, you have to put on the Aram's top and the skirt in order to get your magic attack bonus high enough to uh, cast successfully. So um, that's the main advantage of this. It does have the highest magic attack bonus, but um, obviously when you do switch to the Aram's, you're very weak to melee. And if you don't have melee prayer up um, when someone's got a DDS next to you, you're in trouble. Also, even if you do have melee pair up, look at this range defense bonus. It is pitifully low. Um, so with this setup, you have very low um, melee defense setups for when you switch to mage. So got to be pretty careful with it. Um, uh, so you put on a full Darox, yeah, you have the highest melee defense. That's another advantage. I mean, this is your range switch. Nothing really interesting or different here. Um, so, what are the advantages of tribriding with Darox? Well, obviously you get that axe switch. You can one bang someone if you get your timer axe switch right. Uh, you get the high, highest melee defense uh, out of all three setups, and you get the highest magic uh, attack bonus. What's the downside? Obviously, like I said before, and this is a major downside, you have next to no range defense. Um, which is not good if you got someone with a Carol's bow on you, diamond bolts, whatever, you're gonna get crushed with this setup. And uh, it's just it's just a much more vulnerable setup. But it kind of works within the whole Darox because if you take damage, you know, if you take a lot of damage at once, you can quickly switch the axe and heal up. So it kind of plays in favor of the Darox. It's a little more experienced setup, uh, but I definitely recommend it if you have uh, very high strength. Uh, definitely a good setup to do. Uh, you do need high range with this setup, so 90 plus range because you can't just use full Varax when someone's just camping the Carols and the Melee Prey. So when someone's camping the Carols and Melee Prey, your range has to be high enough to get through that. Um, Alright, so let's move on to my final setup. And it is a very strange looking setup. Indeed. So you'll notice with this setup, uh, this is everything I have here that I need here. This entire armor set and these three pieces. Um, well, actually, there's the full carols too. Sorry, I forgot about the full carols. Um, uh, it's a very weird setup. You've probably never seen this combination of gear. Unless if you've seen me do uh, barrels, <laughs> because I use a pretty similar setup for barrels. And so why have I chosen this setup? Well, obviously I said before that the Brassard uh, only gives a minus six magic attack bonus. And it also gives a minus zero range attack bonus. Good thing to keep note of. Augustine's Chain Skirt only gives a minus seven magic attack bonus, opposed to Derox Legs, or a Varric Skirt, which gives a minus 21 magic attack bonus. So uh, you'll notice that I can wear this full gear setup and I still have a plus 33 magic attack bonus and look at this I'm in like the 260s, 270s, 270 
range defense bonus. This is the highest mage switch setup uh, with the highest range defense out of all the mage switches. Uh, once again, we'll look at the Varax. So Varax would be Aram Skirt and uh, Fire Cape. Uh, that's the range defense bonus of the Varax switch. It's still pretty high, 225, but when we go back to my setup, my setup's a full uh, almost 50 range defense higher. So definitely a huge advantage and obviously with the full Darox switch I mean the range defense is just pitifully low. Mine's well, mine's 130 higher. 131 range defense points higher. So it's, it's, just, it's just no contest. Alright, and another unique thing about this gear setup is this is a one item switch setup for everything. I can range with this setup, so I can wear all this armor and have 101 range attack bonus just wearing all this armor, and I still keep this high melee defense. Obviously, you can switch to carols if you're being maged um, and keep your mage defense up. Um, and of course, you can melee. Uh, you can melee with the setup and still have high defense bonuses. Um, out of all the setups, this is the one I will be using for Clan Cup and I use this very, I use this exact setup for Castle Wars with the exception of the helm and the cloak of course. Simply because the switches are so easy um, and you just have no weak point. There's no good point for someone to DDS you out because your melee defense is always high and <laughs> I always uh, get that from people while I'm doing Castle Wars is they can never, I've never gotten DDS'd out of Castle Wars with this setup simply just because of I never have low melee defense. The only time I have low melee defense is when I switch to Carol's, but obviously if someone's going to come DDS rush me, I can just put back on the gear and I'm all set. There's no weak point. There's, but the main thing is you're, you're completely like invulnerable to range. Uh, you can far cast with this setup and someone can range you and they just won't be able to hit. Uh, it's a great setup. Um, what do I recommend stat wise for this setup? I do recommend high range, so 90 plus range. Um, you're working with a lower range attack bonus. I mean, not really lower, but you don't have the Varax melee switch. You know, when someone's praying protect melee and camp in the carols, you got to have high enough range to do some damage through that. Um, so, high magic, obviously, is a requirement for all of them. High range and high melee stats. That's really it. It's very simple. Um, so, anything else I need to compare between the three setups? Um, I'll just summarize in a nutshell. This setup has the highest range and melee defense uh, for the mage switch. Um, the Varax has the... Uh, well, actually doesn't have the highest prayer bonus. Um, but the Varax is pretty much the same, actually, really. Um, let's put on uh, the skirt, fire cape, and all that. What am I missing here? Oh right, no Master Wand. You don't bring a... The reason why I don't use a Master Wand switch for the Varax is it just um, it takes up an extra inventory space. That could be an entire brew. That's why I don't bring a Master Wand for the Varax. And then the Darox. Uh, look at that one last time. Um, and yeah! Once again, the whole point of tri-brooding uh, tri is to save inventory space, and that's what I've tried to do with, to the best of my ability with all these setups. Um, please feel free to post your comments, suggestions, uh, questions, whatever. Hopefully I covered everything thorough enough. If this guide was interesting, and if you learned something, uh, I greatly appreciate a like. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. Good luck on... Clan Cup, guys, and I'll see you next time.